After delays and deadly confrontations between police and protesters, the official results from Zimbabwe's election are in. Emerson Mnangagwa, former ally of ousted president and dictator Robert Mugabe, has been declared the winner. But the main opposition leader says the vote was rigged and he plans to challenge it in court. Thomas Degg is following the story in London and joins us now. So, Thomas, many saw this as an election, a chance for uh, Zimbabwe to break away from its past. What does all this mean for the future? Well, from the point of view of the president, Emerson Menengagwa, this is a new beginning for uh, Zimbabwe. It's the same thing for his supporters. They feel the same. He has been aiming to unlock foreign investment after years of economic stagnation because of his predecessor, former leader Robert Mugabe. Now, if you look at it from the opposition's point of view, this is more of the same. This is the same political party from the Mugabe era, and the opposition is claiming it's the same trickery as well. They feared that the elections would be rigged, and now they're saying they will go to court to challenge the result. It was quite a scene in the middle of the night in a conference room in Harare as the final results were about to be read out. A spokesman for the opposition came out in front of the media uh, that were assembled there and called the results fake. Watch this. The results that have been announced have not been verified by us. I did not sign those results, so the results are fake. Now, he was escorted out of the room. Then the officials uh, declared Menengagwa the winner. But it goes to show you how seriously the opposition believes this vote was rigged. And they're not the only ones raising questions. The head of the European Union's election observer team still has questions about the transparency in the vote count and the police seizure of the opposition's computers just yesterday. I should mention it is midday in Harare now. There have been no reports of protests in the streets today. The pictures you're seeing are from a couple days ago. But keep in mind, yesterday the military was going around telling everyone to go home. So we'll see how things pan out today, John. Thanks for this, Thomas. CBC's Thomas Degg in London.